Hello everyone, today I'm going to do something a little bit different. Instead of playing a whole game of StarCraft 2, or trying to make a whole video just shoutcasting, I decided to make a video just saying what my thought process is for a game. Now, what I mean by that is, this is a game that I played recently, where I got my first placement match done, and I won. So, today, I'm going to try to go over what I did and not get countered all the time. The first thing I did, is I realized I'm versing Zerg. So, immediately what I did was... I made a supply depot, I made the Babix right here, and I immediately made another supply depot. I did this because you could lower supply depots to lower them down, so you can still pass by, and two, you keep them up to block any early Zerg aggression. This also works for people who are dealing with a lot of cannon rushes, and are trying as much as possible to keep those probes out of their area. If you do it fast enough, and if they even delay it just for a second, you'll be able to get it out with absolutely no problem. Now the next thing I'm going to show is what I do when I first get my orbital command. Instead of getting my first mule, I'm going to scan this area first. The reason being is that now I know exactly what they're doing just by their first base. For instance, they have no geysers, so they're obviously not getting any gas, so I'm not going to expect any upgrades. They have a spawning pool and just finished an evolution chamber, so that confirms that they have no upgrades whatsoever. And also at the same time, they have no real expansion, because when they start going for these two things and not have anything here, it's a clear sign that they're not expanding, they're not upgrading, and they're also trying to make zerglings and hopefully it works. So that's why I scan it first, so now I understand what's going on. Now as you can see, He's having Zerglings rush straight from my base, and luckily now, I have it walled off, and just here are the Marines, and go from there. Now, also with the wall, it's a lot easier to deal with Zerglings, because A, they're not going to do enough damage to instantly bust open the Supply Depot, and B, if it does get damaged, you just send SCVs to repair it. Now, as you can see here, I got my refinery, so I'm now allowed to get upgrades, so I'm getting that plus one. Then I'm getting more Babricks and a factory, and starting my expansion. Now, for this instance, I decided to make my command center here, because I can always just lift it up. So I make it here, load it down here, the rest is self-explanatory. Now I'm just getting enough units to try to make sure that whatever Zerglings or Roaches is going to be building later, because I know for a fact it's going to be doing that, I get able to counteract it regardless of how many Marines and Marauders I have. And I'm also getting this, so I can get Hellions to burn through extra zergling they're also a good scouting unit now here's the key thing here i have my units i'm doing well but the one thing i'm missing is a stuff to heal my marines which are supposed to be medevacs and two i need to make sure i'm getting siege units but unfortunately i didn't make that decision and i'll get to that in a moment now i have a few siege tanks but it's not something to brag about for most people and if i fast forward now he has the ultralisk cavern about to be ready and this is going to be very important because an Ultralisk could counter all of my light units, especially where most of my units are just Marines. Now I move out with my units and I'm doing well, and I feel like it's about to be a win. And as you can see, I'm funneling a lot of minerals because of it. I thought this was going to be a free win, so I thought it was going to be, you know, easy. My god, was I wrong. Because by the time I went to his base, he already has Ultralisk being made here. Now, as you can see, I have no healing for my Marines. I have very few units that could deal with Armored. So, you're probably going to guess what's going to happen next. All around me are familiar faces, worn out places, worn out faces. About a few shots from Ultralisk, my thing dies. Nice. Now, this is the biggest thing I wanted to show people. Always have a plan B for when you play StarCraft 2 or any RTS game. My plan B was, I recently just started getting plus one for mech. Now, one of the things that he also does here is that he's focusing on armor upgrades and no melee. He had it for Hydralisk and Roaches, but he has no upgrade for melee, which is the biggest thing you would do with Ultralisk in the first place. And this is me thinking, all right, what could I do to counteract this? This is what I do now. I immediately start making Thors and I queue up a shit ton of them. I make Marauders instead of Marine, and I'm starting to get upgrades for Armory. The Zerg unit's mistake was he's not building as many units as he can, because he has a whole base right here that he could, he has a whole base he could mine from. Actually, as a matter of fact, he has two whole bases he could mine from, and I had barely had one. So he had an opportunity to recover from this, just decided not to. So to counteract this, I decided to make expansions. And I want to show you that, I want to show you the production tab of that. Look at the production tab right now. I'm getting all of this made, and the Zerg player is getting nothing. He's got the plating being made, but he's not upgrading the Ultralisk otherwise. He's just thinking that, oh, I have enough tank stats, it's gonna work well. When you're dealing with someone who's getting even more damage than you, that's never gonna work. So he's starting to get Ultralisk. I keep scanning his part of the area just to see what he's making. He has very little Ultralisk. 
He just got roaches. Look at my production tab. I am still making literally anything I can to counteract this comp. He has no air units and he has no upgrades for damage. He only has the plus one for armored. And now look at this. For this engagement, if I do engage within this time, I'm about to get plus one for armor and plus two damage for both marines and siege tanks. Look at this army. What do you see there? You got Thors, you got Siege Tanks, you got Marauders, and you got Liberators. All four of these units can destroy Ultralisk with absolutely no problem. Why? Let me explain. Thors have a lot of base damage for any of these units. So just with this alone, you could destroy Ultralisk. And they have even more damage output even when they're not even upgraded. And as you can see again, I'm getting plus two. I'm about, I'm one away from getting plus three. But I knew I didn't need it because they weren't upgrading at all. Now, with Siege Tanks, it's the same thing. This Siege is going to destroy anything on the map that's armored. And it's going to chunk a lot of Zerglings as well. I'm still scanning to see what he's making. And I see he doesn't have enough units. So what I do is I immediately move out. And the next thing I do... So what I did was I control my Liberators. Put them right here for where this little area where the Spore Crawlers cannot hit any of these units. And because of that, they were distracted. So the next thing I did is move my army to this base right here. And now I do this with all four of my liberators. And now they're distracted and don't know what to do. Now plus two is just about to finish at this time. And I'm still making backup units. And this guy is still, is still only getting armor and movement speed upgrade. He does, has no damage whatsoever. So in this case, I'm pretty much in the clear to do whatever I want. I don't even micro my Thors properly. And I still get to kill everything with no problem. Just all these units drop within a few seconds. Now he's getting more Ultra Lisk out, but it's already too late. Because now I'm destroying his workers and whoever else comes into play. I don't know why he decided to make a Nidus network, because that was sure as hell not going to work. Because all I had to do was move my units into my base, and the Nidus network is basically useless. And at this time, I'm still expanding, and I'm still trying to get as many resources as possible. And even got more factories in case I kept funneling too much units too many minerals and now is the game now for people who want to learn more about this game it's very simple find anything that counters the thing that they're trying to make they saw me building marines and marauders so they immediately try to get to ultralisk as fast as possible to melt my, melt my whole entire army but for me i decided to think oh wait i have four different units that do good against ultralisk so i'm gonna make all of those since he's not gonna make anything else and that was my and that was my strategy for it as a result I got my first placement win. Let me know in the comments down below if you want more of these later on. Because I like making these because, well, I'm a strategist. And that's kind of the thing I have to do. And the thing I like to do. I'm the strategist. Thanks for letting me share my knowledge. And good luck trying to kill me now. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.